So I wanted to send out a message to my fellow entrepreneurs. You know, right now, being an entrepreneur, that, that's a major buzzword out there. You know, everybody's their own boss. Everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. Nobody wants to work for anybody. You know, I, 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 I just need to work for myself. I don't like bosses. Okay, great. Work for yourself. But, you know, I, I, I just wanted to, to, to share a little bit of my wisdom and, and hopefully it helps you in your journey. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. You know, I remember when I first started my business. This is, this is uh, early 2000s. And, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm finally in business. We got two major accounts. One account was, was, it was, it was a good size account. Wasn't bad, you know, making good money with nice retainer account. And, and, and this other account was my whale. This, this was that big money account. This was the one that allowed us to go out and get that office space and, and, and for me to hire a, a, a team and get myself staffed up, you know, and I'm super excited. Finally, I, 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 I got the balls to quit my job and, and now I'm in business. Yeah. Fast forward six months later, <laughs> six months later, I get a call. Um, you know, we need to meet. Okay, I didn't even think nothing of it. I get to the meeting, and it's like, oh, we've been thinking about going a, a, a different direction. You know, we're going to use a different agency. And, and you ever see those movies where somebody's talking, and, 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 and they're talking after a certain word is said? Everything just goes in slow motion. But that, that's what happened to me. I'm sitting there, and when they're like, oh, we're going to go in a different um, direction with a new agency... Everything after that was like, I'm like, what? <laughs> so this is what I'm saying in the back of my, like, what? Like, my whole company is depending on this account. Now, I can't tell them that, but I'm sick. I left that meeting and, and, and my stomach is hurting. My knees ain't working right, like I'm walking slow. It's like, oh my God, what happened? And this had nothing to do with us. Like it, 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 it was a regime change. The, the, the guy who brought me in, he, he moved on to greener pastures. Somebody new comes in and they want to bring their people. Nothing to do with us, nothing to do with our work, anything. But the result was the same, you're out. Good luck. So I'm just like, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? So I'm praying. I'm talking to God. I'm talking people to people closest to me. Like, what do I do? You know, because it was still time. I mean, I I'd only quit my job for six months. I was like a rock star at the company. I could have went back. But I had to make a decision. And, and, and as I'm praying to God, you know, it was revealed to me that, that, you know, I put you on this path for a reason. Stick it out. Lean on me. Trust me. And that's just what I did. And, and, and thank God, you know, it all worked out. But I'm telling you guys this, just, just a message to my fellow entrepreneurs. You know, if you are thinking about getting into business or going into business, rather, if, if you think about becoming your own boss, it, it is not going to be easy. You are going to be tested. You're going to be tested in a way you can't understand because this universe, God, they, they, they want. Are you ready for this? Are you truly cut out for this? You, you talk about you want to be your own boss, but how real is that? Like, we're going to shake things up. You're going to find out what you are made of in your darkest hour. Before those waters, and now don't get me wrong, the waters might start out as good sailing, smooth sailing. But, but after a while, them waves come in. And, and, and you got to be on that boat, you know, trying to keep that boat steady, keeping that ship going a certain direction. And... and Heavy is the crown. 
I know it sounds good to, to, to be like I'm my own boss, but heavy is the crown. Everything comes back to you. If you are in business for yourself, understand something. Everything comes back to you. Nothing's for free. You got your office. Somebody got to come in and clean it. That's a bill. Somebody got to take out the trash. That's a bill. Emails, phone system, all of, that's all bills. And it's, and it's great because the, 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 the reward is great being an entrepreneur. But the risk is high. And, and, and you have to really understand, am I in this to win it? Am I cut out for this? Am I going to bet on me? Am, 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 am I going to trust the fact that, that, that I was given whatever this idea was or whatever this talent is or, 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 or whatever this service I provide? Am I going to trust it enough to keep going forward and, 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 and stick out this storm? So that leads me to another point, right? Because you have to, as an entrepreneur, you got to learn to, to really, really listen to your consumer. I don't care if you are selling a product. I don't care if you're selling a service. I don't care what it is that you're doing. You got to pay attention to your consumer because they're always right. You can't be drunk on, on, on your own hype. You, you walking down the street, yeah, 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 I'm my own boss. Believing your own mess and, and whatever it is you selling ain't selling. But you the boss. You can't get high on your own supply to where you believe you, the, 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 oh, everybody's so happy because she done started her own company or he started his own company. No. Listen to the consumer, and that's the wonderful. That, 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 that's one of the the, the the benefits of social media. Because you put something up on that social media, they're gonna tell you right away. Either you got something or you don't. You know, I think about music and entertainment, and 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 you know, artists. They 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 upload their music, and they might not blow overnight. It might not be years before you blow, but you'll know if you have something as an artist. That record will start to, to, to get listens. People will start to buzz about it. You'll start to see them thumbs up, them likes. It might take you a minute to become a household name, but you'll know if I got something, should I keep going forward? But on the other hand, if you've been in that studio for years, if you've been working at this thing, whatever, whatever product you sell, whatever you, you've been working at it for years, and nobody, like your fan base hasn't grown at all, or it has grown so incremental, you know, compared to the work you got, you got to get out of your own way. And sometimes you got to say to yourself, I need to adjust. I need to innovate. I need to, you know, I know I love making music or I know I love what I'm doing, but I just have to listen to my consumer base. They are speaking loud and clear. And I got to change up whatever I'm doing, make some adjustments and give them what they want. I can't sit here and, and be so hard set in my own way that, that this is what it is and y'all better buy into it. That's not the way it works. You know, some of the biggest companies on planet Earth, you know, have, have made these mistakes. I mean, once upon a time, we all know what, what, what Blockbuster was. And, and, and that whole experience of going to Blockbuster, I used to love going to Blockbuster. That was, going to Blockbuster was, was an experience in and of itself. Go up in Blockbuster, look around, see what movies is in. You rent your little movies, go home and have a Blockbuster night. Blockbuster got approached by Netflix and, 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 and it was like, you know, we want you to buy our company. Blockbuster couldn't see past the fact that people were still renting movies. But the technology was changing. Everything was going digital. But nope, we don't want your business. $50 million is a lot of money. You know, good luck with your little company. But, you know, people love the experience of coming into Blockbuster. Well, fast forward a few years later, Blockbuster out of business. Netflix, $300 billion. What side of the fence would you want to be on? 
you know, you, some, you, sometimes you got to listen to your consumers and, and, and you got to make the changes and you got to innovate and you got to go in the direction of where the market is telling you to go. You can't you can't make silly decisions. You know, I think of Coca-Cola. Everybody loves a Coke. I don't care where you go on planet Earth. You know that logo. But somebody, somebody in that company, you know, in the 90s had this wonderful idea. We are going to change the formula to Coca-Cola. The Coke that you know and love, the Coke that, that, that have a Coke and a smile, we're going to change this formula. Do you understand people lost their minds? <laughs> like, like the stock prices of Coca-Cola plummeted. Sales went so far down so quickly. But Coke was at least wise enough to be like, oh, hell no. Get that person out of here. And we're going back to original Coke. They don't even talk about, they don't even want us to remember that, that of that monumental blunder. But they listen to their consumer base. They didn't listen to them going in. They, they felt we were going to do what we want. People been drinking Coke since the 1800s. It's time to switch it up. No. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But when they made that mistake, they quickly changed it around. So just as entrepreneurs, just understand like this, this, this journey that you're on or about to be on, it is going to be some peaks. It's going to be some valleys. It's going to be a, a, a lot of different twists and turns. But really, really, number one, strap in. Put your seatbelt on. Because this is going to be a crazy ride that you're on. It's definitely worth it. So rewarding. But you also have to get out your own way sometime. And, and, and really listen to your consumers. Really listen to the people you're serving. And if you do these things, I, th I think you're going to have a successful business. So just something I wanted to share with you guys, you know, just as I'm thinking and I love entrepreneurship and I love people who really chase their dreams, you know, go out there, go do your thing, but really pay attention to your market. Peace and love, guys. Do what I do and try to make every move a power move. Much love and respect and I'll catch y'all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.